Um, yeah, probably. I think the better rugby team. Probably, I think we probably deserve to win the game in large aspects. Um, but ultimately, we've paid for um, some inaccuracies, not finishing off opportunities. Probably a little bit of ill discipline in the first half. But ultimately, we probably still had enough possession and opportunities to to see that game off. What went wrong in that period, Steve, where they were down to fourteen, but they got two converted tries very quickly after that? Yeah, I think um, off kickoff we lost the ball, and then conceding a cheap try from the, the crossfield kick was disappointing. And then we've probably really overchasing the game, um, shifting maybe when we didn't need to, when some guy is, is standing there. But ultimately, that's that's the tail of the game. And even at the back end, I think there was still plenty of time for us to chase the game down. But ultimately, we weren't accurate enough, and probably forced one or two things that we probably didn't need to. Bruce, did it feel a frustrating experience on the field? Yeah, very frustrating. Obviously, we uh, we felt we were in control of that game. As Steve said, we had lots of possession, but obviously, accuracy and discipline cost us. And didn't keep hold of the ball. And uh, look, obviously, very disappointed at the moment as we felt we were in control of that game, and it's one that got away. But um, look, we have to pick our heads up pretty quickly as we got Leinster home next next Saturday, short turnaround. So boys will recover well now, and um, hopefully, finish off strong in the league. Steve, do you think the international break has sort of halted your momentum in any way? No, I don't think it's halted our momentum. I think um, last week was disappointing for different reasons. I think we didn't put a shift in. Um, but ultimately this week, I don't think it was an attitude thing. I think it was ultimately we were pretty inaccurate because you look at did we create opportunities? There was bucketfuls there for us to go and finish this game off. Um, conceded one or two cheap tries. And ultimately that's the game. Do you think maybe it was lost as much in the first 15 minutes as the last 15 because you had so much possession and territory early on and just a penalty deal to, to show for it? Yeah, and I think it's it's easy to say that and look, we would love to have more points on the board but we felt we had started going backwards, we felt they were tiring, um, probably feel a little bit unlucky in around the try because potentially it could be a hand from Stad there flicking the ball up. But, it's it is risk, but then we we can't back it up then with ill discipline, then concede uh, concede a cheap try. But I still think you look at the back end of the game. If we were a little bit more accurate, I thought we could pull start around, which we were doing for a lot of the game. But ultimately, we didn't didn't finish it off. Yeah, frustrating, especially given the the Ospreys getting to this sort of stage of Europe for the first time in seven years, I guess. Yeah, there's no hiding place. It's it's, it's um, pretty raw, um, disappointing. Um, but ultimately, it's knockout rugby. Um, one team hasn't done a lot to win the game. They've done everything they power to probably slow the game down and, and win in different ways, which is knockout rugby. Um, and we've probably got to handle that better. And like I say, if, if we handle our ball better and we finish off tries, then I don't think that would have probably had any sort of reference on the game. But in in the change rooms now, it's, it's pretty sober and it's pretty quiet, but ultimately, there is no hiding place. Um, we've got Leinster coming to us on Saturday, which at the end of the day, there's no bigger game or better game for us to be fired up on and, and making sure we, we go and get a performance and ultimately a result. Reese, is it going to be difficult to turn it around against Leinster? No, obviously they're going to be coming uh, fully loaded and full of confidence after their, their win yesterday. But like we, it's not much we need to change. Um, so obviously it's just the discipline and accuracy. But I think our game plan, our Attitude was was there, um, so I think if we just turn up, have a good week training session, training in week next week, and turn up and put them little things right, put the detail right, then there's no reason why we can't put in a good performance next week. So, uh, luck, we're gonna dust ourselves down now today, recovery tomorrow, and come in Tuesday then, learn from uh, learn from this, and and obviously look forward to Leinster. It's no bigger challenge than than Leinster and look we got a target we want to aim for at the end of the season and uh, we know we need to pick ourselves up pretty quickly. How much are you missing Alan Wynn as a presence as well as a player? Well, it's pretty obvious to like miss someone of Alan Wynn's calibre, we'd love him in, in knockout games but for the large part of the season we'd be missing big players, you know, it's not only Alan Wynn we miss in, we're looking at uh, Lydia Dimitri, you've got Hanno, Hassler, Owen Watkin, there's numerous people we've been missing for large parts of the season. The squad have dealt there pretty well, apart from probably the, the last two games. Steve, Steve should Roy Suki have seen red after 19 minutes? Um, yeah, you don't like to be 
sort of, I don't think I'm being really controversial when if someone stamps on someone, then surely that's a red card. But uh, you can hide behind probably a microscope but everyone can see that he's stamped on Keelan, but I don't know whether stamping is a yellow card of any format, so I don't quite get it. But ultimately, that's the decision. And... I don't want to be sitting here bleating around referee calls, even though there were probably some poor ones. Um, that, but ultimately, that didn't really cost us the game. I still think that we should have dealt with that, and there was enough opportunities for us to, to win that game, irrelevant of some questionable decisions. Really, to play a home game away from home, as it were, make things a bit more difficult for you, maybe? Um, yeah, look, listen. We, we, I ain't going to sit there and make excuses. We'd love to play the Liberty, but we're not. It's a great stadium. A lot of the boys are really comfortable here. And I think we've shown enough energy and in around and some play of how we want to play to get this game done and dusted. Ultimately, we haven't done that. Reece, do you think it was a case of uh, start being more clinical with their chances tonight? Well, look, they scored two tries, which I don't think the person they should have scored. It was just... Obviously, uh, well, mistakes from us, basic silly mistakes. Um, so yeah, like we had, like I said, we had opportunities to to score tries. Um, but obviously, decisions didn't go our way. We had created lots of opportunities, but luck we can't dwell on that now. Like I said earlier, we got we got to pick ourselves up and uh, focus on Leinster now next week. Steve, one of the main positives going out into the rest of the campaign in the Pro 12. Yeah, look, we're we're in in a good position in the league. We've got some tough games coming up. We've got a couple of home. Um, got another game back here on Judgment Day, so listen, it's it's been a tough sort of two weeks for us. But I think, like I said, there was enough in that game to show what we can do. We have just got to look after the ball a little bit better, make some better decisions. But our intent to play and the way we develop in, and like I said, there's, there's a lot of big players missing today as well. But it's something that we, we're really gutted. We haven't got over the line, but we're in a good position in in the league, and it's important that we get over this pretty quickly because we put ourselves in a good position from the start of the season's work. This is next week is absolutely critical now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pretty big game. Yeah, and it's something that'll drag us closer to Leinster and then being really in probably a good bit of control going into the back end of the season. And ultimately, we want to get back to winning ways. It's obviously losing in, it, in this situation. You can find out a lot about your squad, and as Mark was alluding, it's a, it's a big period to define. Your season, I was never with Leinster and Ulster, those games coming up. Yeah, it's. You've got to look back at this and, and think, you know, that was a big. Yeah, we got. I hate using the word learning from certain stuff because at the end of the day, being clinical, w w what you do in the training field, I think, should come out a little bit more on the training uh, on the pitch today. But yeah, it's there is no hiding place in this league. You, all of a sudden, a couple of wins puts you under real pressure to get what you want in, in around the league. But like you say, it's something if you've got. A tough group in there that they don't lack of effort or attitude or when the, the sort of we're in a little bit of adversity they, they, they normally come out fighting um, and at the end of the day we ain't got a choice and it's something that going into Leinster we, we're looking forward to it and it's something we need to be better and when we get opportunities against Leinster you know you're going to have to take them because Leinster are going to play a little bit more and they, they're going to ask more questions of us. Yeah.